Let's look at installing a CoolMuster Android Assistant for Android Phone Backup and Restore. Double-click on the icon on your PC. And follow the on-screen prompts to finish the installation. Click Finish and the app will be launched. Connect Android Phone to computer with USB cable. and then follow the on-screen options to set your phone. On the device, you may need to allow access to its data through enabling USB debugging. To do it, turn on Developer Options on your device. Activate USB debugging. Your device will now connect to the computer successfully. Once the app installs on the phone, it will connect and look like this. First, let's look at how to add, edit, export and import contacts. Select Contacts on the left panel. Click New button on the top menu to add a contact. Fill in the desired information and click OK. And there is your new contact. To edit the contact, you can either click the pencil icon here or click Edit on the top menu. Make the changes to the contact and click OK to finish it. To delete a selected contact, just click Delete from the top menu. Click OK to confirm the order. Choose a contact or contacts to export. Click Export button to open the submenu and choose file type CSV. Select a folder for saving output contacts. Click Show in folder to see the detailed output files. The contacts folder will now have the data as CSV. Click OK when done. Click Export button to open the submenu and choose file type HTML. Select a folder for saving output contacts. Click Show in Folder to see the detailed output files. The Contacts folder will now have the data as HTML. Click OK when done. Click Export button to open the submenu and choose file type VCF. Select a folder for saving output contacts. Click Show in Folder to see the detailed output files. The Contacts folder will now have the data as VCF. Click OK when done. Click Export button to open the submenu and choose file type BAK. Select a folder for saving output contacts. Click Show in Folder to see the detailed output files. The Contacts folder will now have the data as BAK. Click OK when done. To import contacts to Android, just click Import button and select file type as you like. Choose VCF and locate the file. Click Open to import it into your device. Click OK when done. Here is the imported contact. Now let's look at sending, exporting and importing text messages. Select SMS on the left panel. Your current text messages will appear on the right panel. Click New on the top menu to send messages. Use the Contact button to select recipients. Type your message and click Send. To export SMS, you only need to choose Export button and then select type of the output file. Let's do HTML by date. Select a folder for saving output messages. Click Show in Folder to see the detailed output files. The SMS folder will now have the text messages. Click OK when done. Let's do HTML bubble by date. Select a folder for saving output messages. Click Show in Folder to see the detailed output files. The SMS folder will now have the text messages. Click OK when done. Let's do Text by Date. Select a folder for saving output messages. 
Click Show in Folder to see the detailed output files. The SMS folder will now have the text messages. Click OK when done. Let's do CSV by date. Select a folder for saving output messages. Click Show in Folder to see the detailed output files. The SMS folder will now have the text messages. Click OK when done. To import messages, just select Import and choose File Type from top menu. Locate the BAK file. Click Open to import. Click OK on phone and then on screen. Click on OK on phone again to reset phone, then on screen. Now let's look at transferring music between Android and computer. Select Music on left menu. Your music is here. Click the box to switch between all or none selected. Or select just the music you want, then select Export. Select Folder for the music. Click Show in Folder to see music. The music folder will now have the songs. Click OK when done. Choose New to add music. Locate the music to add. Select the file and click Open. Click OK when the files has been added. Here is the new music. To delete music, just select it and choose Delete on the top menu. Click OK to confirm. To create a playlist, click the plus sign and then type a name. The playlist and click Add from the top menu. Select the music for the playlist and click OK to add them to the list. Now let's look at transferring photos between Android and computer. Select Photos on the left menu. Your photos are here. Click the box to switch between All or None selected. Or you can select individual photos and click Export on top menu. Select Folder for the photos. Click Show in Folder to see photos. The Photos folder will now have the photos. Click OK when done. Choose Add on the top menu to add photo to phone. Locate the phone on computer and click Open. To delete a photo, just select the photo and click Delete on top menu. Click OK to confirm. Now let's look at transferring videos between Android and computer. Select Videos on the left menu. Select a video and click Export on top menu. Select Folder for the video. Click Show in Folder to see video. The Videos folder will now have the video. Click OK when done. To delete select video, just click Delete on top menu. Click OK to confirm. To add a video to phone, click Add on top menu. Locate Video on Computer and click Open. Click OK when done and there is your video. Now let's look at transferring books between Android and computer. Select Books on the left menu. Select a book and click Export on top menu. Select Folder for the book. Click Show in Folder to see book. The Books folder will now have the book. To add a book to phone, click Add on top menu. Locate Book on Computer and click Open. Click OK when done and there is your book. To delete Select Book, just click Delete on top menu. Click OK to confirm. Now let's look at Android Backup and Restore function. Choose Super Toolkit from the top menu. Click Backup. Select all or individual parts for backup.
Click Browse to choose location. Click Backup to begin. Click Open Folder to see results. Click OK when done. To restore from a backup, click Restore. Choose contents you want to restore. Check Clear Data before restoring. Select data you want and click Restore. As you can see, all old data is deleted before restoring. Click OK to confirm. The restore will begin. When it completes, click OK. Check out our other tools for Android and iOS.